Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake. You're here with Tony Tony. And in the last part we uh, played as Ada. Uh, she she chased down a net uh, but got beaten by her. And uh, she's now uh, stuck in this this garbage room, uh, injured and unconscious. Uh, Leon also got shot. Uh, he was knocked unconscious, that's why we are playing as Ada. Uh, but now he's, he's on his way to save her and be uh, her knight in shining armour. Uh, and I said in the last part, I'm just going to quit these. I said in the last part that uh, this is my least favourite part of the game. And it's only for, for one reason. It's only because of one section of this part of the game. And it's this section right here. You have to go through this. And... Uh, if you can't tell, well, that that's breathing. <laughs> uh, this is uh, where you find all the, the uh, G mutants, and uh, although I know how to uh, dodge them, it doesn't always work. That's why I've got the grenades. God, that's how it doesn't always work. Luckily, they're not too hard to kill, but uh, they're not the easiest to kill either. That's another way of getting past them is if you wait for their animation to uh, do that. <laughs> right. I believe there is a raccoon doll around here. I believe it's on a shelf to be honest. No, I just caught a glimpse of it. There it is. Right, so uh, we passed my least favourite section, part one, because <laughs> we do have to go back through there. And that's always fun. Uh, there's a blue herb here. <laughs> Alright, that's our health item for if we do get grabbed and beaten by one of them things. Oh, and here, there is a, a zombie, which I, uh... I always need to kill. Because uh, he usually grabs me if I don't kill him. Oh, now we've got the king plug. We... I think we can put it in here as well. get the best weapon against those things. Uh, there's no point in opening that door, is there? And this is probably one of the, the hardest puzzles in the game, as well as the the actual door puzzle itself. It's, this is kind of preparing me for that puzzle, I suppose. Only it tells you where all the all the plugs have to go. <laughs> right. I don't know if that was quicker. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, so. Oh, for God's sake, I'm poisoned. Bye. Use that because I'm poisoned. <laughs> I've never actually been hit by one of those before. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oh. And now there is also another one. And to get past him. Do that and jump back down. <laughs> you don't have to use a bullet on that one. All right, and then go back this way. I think. Anyway. Oh yeah, I don't need those. Workroom left. Is that how you get back? Yeah, I think it is. Because we need to go back to the police station. Well, we don't need to, but it, you know, it's, it's handy because there are uh, some magnum upgrades there. that come from? <laughs> that, was, that was very aggressive. Right. I believe there's a hit pouch in here as well. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I want to take care of this guy. Oh, I think he's dead. Grab the gun. Oh no, that's not gunpowder. We do need that film though. Anything else in here? Yeah, there's some hanging ammo. I'll take that all day. Uh, come on, don't do this to me. Oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm going to put this here as well. He's just uh, waiting for me. Okay. He's still there. Guy following us, uh, but we can't pick up this rock yet. <laughs> right, so now this key is useless. We might as well pick that rock up when we get back through. When we come back through here, up in there. I'm gonna ammo in there. Right. And uh, this is the pamphlet I was talking about, where it's SZF. Uh, obviously, the circled ones. The first one is S. The second circled one is Z, and the, uh, the third one is F. Raccoon City Jazz Festival flyer. Mm. So, if you like jazz. I think that's everything in this room. Yeah. Uh, 
and this is our way back up to the police station. Sorry, I don't like uh, having a flamethrower on show. Okay, we can't be, we literally cannot grab anything right now. So yeah, you'll recognise where we are in, in a moment. We are, in fact, back in the police station already. This is the, uh, the save box. The item box, even. The save box. Right, we'll get rid of that. We'll keep those. <laughs> we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of these plugs as well while we're here. And this gunpowder. And we'll use this T-bar. On this, and there's my Marvin. I almost called him Martin then. I'll put that back now because we don't need that again. But there is one more door, so we can't discard it just yet. Marvin. Oh no! Damn it! I just heard something. Ha! Huh. Wow. Um. I didn't know that one was there. But I heard it. <laughs> There's a liquor in that room and I forgot. <laughs> I think there are more than one liquor in this room. We develop that film and it says hiding places and they are very very obscure but the uh, the top one is Wesker's desk in the star's office and the second one is uh, the stereo which is in this press room. Oh, he's still after me. So I'll go this way up to the star's office. I don't think there's any uh, any more monsters going to be coming for us. And obviously Mr. X is, isn't in the police office anymore. Yeah. Police station, police office. <laughs> he's now uh, moved on. wooden box and you'll see there's a another roll of film here called Rising Rocky which is uh, a reference to the uh, the original where if you inspected Wesker's desk 50 times I don't know how anyone found that out <clears throat> but yeah if you inspected it 50 times you uh, got a picture of Rebecca and I'm just gonna I might as well show that off Because they, uh, they put it in this one. I might as well develop it. Poison Rookie. And it's Rebecca. Perverts. <laughs> right, I'm going to grab this lightning cork. Uh, and open this box. Because this is basically the only reason you'd want the uh, <clears throat> what do you call it the, the, the roll of film coming back to this police station in the first place well that and uh, the other magnum upgrade that you get 
because that is also technically in the police station. He's kind of in my way. <laughs> so what I'm going to do... Let's go back around this way. I don't know why I was being quiet for that. I thought it'd be out to me. <laughs> right. Uh, our zombie's not feasting anymore because we used the ladder. That's the, the premise of it uh, getting up, I think. And Marvin's there. Poor Marvin. Just a zombie now. Pretty sure I cleared this area out. There is, however, a zombie in here now, but uh, he's not a, a threat. And that is a uh, flamethrower fuel. See, he didn't even notice. <laughs> the only zombie that is a threat up here is Marvin. Should I put him out of his misery? I've only got 12 handgun bullets. So, um, sorry, Marvin. Right, and now we want to grab this USB dongle. I want to examine it and flip the switch again. Oh, go the right way. Because if we come back down here where we got the grenade before fighting William Burke in, there was a cabinet that was locked because you need to use this which is more magnum upgrades more beautiful magnum upgrades oh yeah I can grab this these magnum uh, bullets as well now And that is it done. So we'll just come and uh, grab this rook key. And we'll go back down here. And let's hope uh, these things. Ha! Oh no! 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 Run, Leon! <laughs> I thought I'd got past it then with ease, but um, it definitely wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Right, and now we go back to the room where we saw Ada in the, the last part, which is down there. There she is. I couldn't see it then, she was blending in with the, uh, the trash. <laughs> I 
And now we've got uh, a very good lightning hawk magnum. Or if you would prefer to call it a desert eagle, because that's what it is. <laughs> right, and what we're going to do is just like the first fight with William, if we've got another knife, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab. Did I put them grenades back? <laughs> Um, do I want the grenade though? I believe that's all of them that we need because there are two already in here. And we've got. Wait, what? No, there are three already in here. Anyway, now it's time to read the note. Pretty sure the rook and knight are on the same wall and the bishop and queen aren't next to each other. The queen and rook are opposite each other too. Okay, so one of these. The pawn is already in, in the... And it says nothing about the pawn. Great. Pretty sure the rook and knight are on the same wall. The bishop and the queen aren't next to each other. This one's the knight, which we don't have a plug for. There it is. Right. So it's given us two. The knight and the pawn. So with that we can work this out. Okay. What's that? That's the bishop. So we'll leave that there just in case. Alright, pretty sure the rook and knight are on the same wall. So the rook goes on that wall. The bishop and queen aren't next to each other. The queen and rook were opposite each other. Okay, so... So the rook goes on this wall somewhere, which would have to be here. And the queen's opposite the rook, but the bishop isn't next to the queen, which means the king has to go there. And the rook and bishop are on the same wall. Abracadabra. Okay. Almost there, Ada. Well, and what I'm going to do is grab this blue herb. I believe there's a green herb in here as well. Is there something I missed in here? No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I'm going to mix those. And prepare for a boss fight. So I'm going to grab my other blue herbs that I haven't got mixed yet. Uh, I'm going to make gold herbs. Right, I'm going to take those with me. I'm also going to take these with me. And the flamethrower is very good against William Birkin as well. But, <clears throat> that is all I have time for today, guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next part. See ya!